Assalamu alaikum, welcome all to Easy Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss phylum terminalis. What is phylum terminalis? It is a slender thread like polyconnection of the pyometer from the conus medullaris to the back of the coccyx. This is conus medullaris, this is phylum terminalis. Length of the phylum terminalis about 20 cm functions. It keeps longitudinal support to the spinal cord. Parts of the phylum terminalis. It has two parts. The upper part of phylum terminalis internal. The lower part phylum terminally external. This is phylum terminally internal. This is phylum terminally external. Phylum terminally internum. It is about 15 cm long. It is as far as the lower border of the second sacral vertebra. It is continuous above with the pia and Contained within a tubular sheath of dura matter. In addition, it is surrounded by the nerve forming the coda equina, from which it can be easily recognized by its bluish white color. Phylum terminally externum. It is closely adhered to the dura matter. It extends downward from the apex of the tubular sheath. It is attached to the back of the first segment of the coccyx in st a structure, sometimes referred to as the coccygeal ligament. The most inferior of the spinal nerves and the coccygeal nerves leave the spinal cord at the level of conus medullaris superior to the phylum terminally. However, adhered to the outer surface of the phylum terminally are a few stand of nerve fiber which probably represent rudimentary second and third coccygeal nerve. Furthermore, the central canal of the spinal cord extends 5 to 6 cm beyond the conus medullaris downward into the phylum terminally. Clinical anatomy Fatty phylum terminally This is the fatty phylum terminally Phylum terminally syndrome Thank you for watching If you like this video please press